Hello and welcome to the Salesforce IoT demonstration. Here is my device setup. Uh, let's take a look at the device setup. Okay, uh, the main component of this setup is this uh, ESP8266 based uh, Node MCU IoT de development platform. So uh, I use this platform to read temperature data using a temperature sensor and uh, this device is capable of connect to connect to a Wi-Fi network and send this data so once we read temperature data using the temperature sensor I will send this data to Salesforce using a REST API call okay uh, now here are some rechargeable batteries I have used to power up this uh, Node MCU IoT device so actually uh, you can also power up this device using uh, the micro usb port as well and the next important component of this device setup is the temperature sensor this is a waterproof ds18b20 based digital temperature sensor this sensor is capable of reading temperature from minus 50 celsius degrees and to 125 celsius degrees uh, it has a long range temperature support so this device is not connected to a PC so for the moment this is a uh, uh, turn off later I will turn on this device setup so what I'm going to do is uh, read the temperature of a glass of water and every 10 seconds this device will send these temperature readings to Salesforce using Salesforce uh, REST API call uh, Let's take a look at the Salesforce site. So here I have logged on to my uh, devwork and here I have created a custom app called IoT Temperature. In my custom app there are uh, two main tabs other than the home tab. The temperature reading tab is a custom object tab. Uh, the custom object which I am going to store temperature details uh, I also have the cases tab so uh, there's a trigger I have created uh, if the temperature is increasing above 50 celsius degrees then the trigger will fire and a case will be created so if I go to the list here for the moment you can see there are no any temperature values here uh, if I go to cases I have created a custom list view so for the moment we don't have any cases so next I'm gonna do is uh, power up this device setup and measure the temperature of a glass of water so here I have glass of water here so I'm going to put the temperature sensor there uh, and I also have another glass of hot water we will add later some hot water to this glass to increase the temperature above 50 degrees of Celsius then we can see the case creation so I'm going to power up this uh, device setup my Wi-Fi network is available uh, those uh, Wi-Fi access point data and the Salesforce REST API data all the application logic is stored in the Node MCU IoT device platform ok uh, now I'm going to power up the device ok now the device is connected to the batteries now every 10 seconds this uh, Node MCU module will read the temperature from the sensor and transmit those data to Salesforce ok now let's take a look at the Salesforce side ok ok uh, now if I go to the yeah we have one reading so every 10 seconds we will get uh, new readings let's wait few seconds and refresh Yeah, we have another reading so now what I'm gonna do is 
add some hot water to this glass to increase the temperature. So I have a glass of hot water. So now the temperature will increase. Let's go back to the sales for site. You can see the last reading is 41. The temperature is increasing. Yeah, now it's above 50. We have one reading 51.5. If I go to cases and go to the temperature cases, here we can see a new case created by the trigger. Yeah, uh, if I go to the case details, yeah, uh, we, uh, the, you can see a new case has created. So let's go back to the uh, temperature readings and refresh the list. Uh, now it's again decreasing the temperature so we have two readings above 50 degrees so in temperature cases we have two cases created so actually we can uh, modify this law the application logic for an example we can send an email alert you can the device is capable of measuring the temperature and transmit those data to Salesforce using a REST API call and also using the Node MCU IoT platform. Uh, we can assume that temperature is coming for an example from a machine or the vehicle engine and we can send real-time data to Salesforce. Thank you very much.